All right, my friends. <laughs> I'm up here on the top of Mount Everest, and I've got pretty good Wi-Fi up here. You'd be surprised. Woo, buddy! The view is amazing from up here. You wish you were on top of the world. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Today's Revit tip is not using shared coordinates to coordinate linking files. There's another way to do it, and it's actually quite easier. If you want to just stick around, I'll show you how to use the project base point to coordinate linked files. It's easy. The reason it came up is one of my clients is using Revit Lite. And Revit Lite has been truncated in many ways. It's not the full version of Revit. You can't do certain things. And so one of the, one of the things that it can't do is shared coordinates. Mm. So we had to find a way for them, that team, to work linking files. And so let me go there into Revit and show you how that works. And then maybe, maybe even if you have a full version of Revit, you could use this. It's far simpler than using shared coordinates and, you know, pushing or publishing coordinates to another file and acquiring coordinates from another file. Bah, it's, it's a little silly, but it works, but it's complicated. So let's use project base point. So I'm going to share my screen and then we'll go from there. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So here we are in Revito. Your mama loves red. Eh? Your mama wears army boots too. Eh? All right. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is go to 3D. <clears throat> and here we are in 3D, looking at our little building here. But I want to keep this so simple, friends. I'm going to back it up. And I'm going to delete that entire building off of that site. Okay. Ah, ah what do I do? Okay. I'm going to go to the plan view and it looks like I've got a few things to delete here as well. Mm -hmm. Let me just move this little marker out of the way so I don't delete it. Okay. So let's see what I can get rid of. What? Bam. Go away. Okay. Now we've got a pretty clean slate. We've just got our elevation markers. Okay. Let's just say we're starting now, okay? Things start your watches. Okay. When you need to use the project base point for your project, you need two things. You need a project <laughs> and you need a project base point. <laughs> yeah, I crack myself up sometimes. Yeah, those are the two main elements. So let's make a project. Oh, I'm going to go to wall. And I'm just going to make a, an L-shaped building here. Big l shape. Da, 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 da. Oops. The brick is inside the building. Oh, man. I've already messed up. Okay. <coughs> okay. Here, here we go. I'm going to make a L-shaped building, and I don't care the size of it. Okay. I am just... All right. It's ugly, but this is it. And... I don't know if I like a pocket door as the one going to the exterior. <laughs> so I'm going to put a hollow metal flush door on there with, there we go. Okay. So there's our building. All right. Work with me here, people. We want to link in another building into this one. Let's just say we have this amazing project and it is amazing. People are raving about it. People are excited about this in their community and so they've asked for another little actually the project we want another annex building and I'm just gonna let me just use some detail lines here I'm gonna go with dashed lines for now okay right over here at the intersection right there we let's just say let's just say work with me this is our project right here, this L building, okay? And what I want is a little annex building going here, but it's going to be designed in a separate project, and we're going to link it in, okay? 
and it has to come in at the right place. So we have to either share coordinates, and we're not going to say that because that's not where we're going on this project. We're going to use a project base point to link these two. So now that I've got a project, we need the project base point turned on. And in my view template, I have it turned off. So I'm going to use my view template here. I'm going to go down to model objects. And um, if you don't have a view template for your main view, you can just go to VG, type VG on the keyboard, and this same dialog box will pop up. So come down to site objects and expand that. And project base point on mine is turned off. And when I check the box and say, OK, it comes on. OK, and it just happens to be right there. OK, so let me just grab I can highlight it and move it. La, 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 la. OK, moving it around. This is my project base point. OK, I just want to tell you a little bit about the project base point. <clears throat> it used to have built into it a little paper clip um, icon that you could pin your project and and then it would if it was pinned and you moved it the whole project would move but if you unpinned it and moved it you could move it separately that's done away with in Revit now okay just saying if you want to move your whole project to a new location you need to go up to let me try to remember um, view uh, no uh, manage there we go position and relocate project. You just click on that button and you can relocate the project wherever you want, okay? And the project base point goes with it. But right now, the project base point is easy to move around. So let me just move it over to this point. Bing! Look at that. See how easy that was to put it there? You can put it wherever you want in your project just that quick. And I'm gonna hit save. I'm gonna save this on my desktop. I don't advise you guys to always save your stuff on your desktop. But work with me here. I'm just doing this for um, demonstration purposes only. OK, I'm going to call this L shape building, B-L-D-G, save. OK, so now this project, the base point is right there at that intersection. OK, so you're going to find this so unbelievably easy. You're just going to go, are you kidding me? This is easy, Mike. I love this. Okay, here we go. Wait for it. I'm now going to go open a new project. File, <clears throat> new, new project, and wait for it. Yes, give me a new project. Okay, we kind of have to do the same thing. My template, friends, has got a, and a building. There's a whole building in there. I use that for example purposes. And so it's coming up right now. Wait for it. Wait for it. We're at 52%. Wait, it'll, it's going to eventually open. Hey, wait, there it is. All right. So I'm going to go to 3D in this project. Again, I'm going to do the same thing. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I'm going to erase that entire building. In fact, I'm going to um, erase even the site. Oh, oh, can't delete things that are pinned. Delete. Oh my gosh, it's gone. Okay. If I go to the plan view, same thing. You know, I had to do this in my last project because um, I just um, move. Okay. Exceedingly difficult here. The De delete. Okay, delete. What else? Delete. Okay, there we go. Good for you. Good for you that you deleted something. Okay, here we are. Now, what I need is a building here. Now, I'm not going to coordinate with the other one. This building is going to fit. Remember the L-shaped building? It's going to fit right in that corner. It has to. So let's just say I design a new building here, okay? And it's just a little annex building. Bam. It's just a little tiny annex, okay? And I'm going to put a door on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The door is going out the side. And it's got a window. See, this is a whole separate project. See how fantastic this project is? Oh, it's fantastic. Now, I also need to turn on the project base point in this project so I can coordinate. And I'm going here under my model object. Same place. I'm going down to site. And I'm going to turn on project base point. Where is it now? 
oh, it's sitting right there. <clears throat> so this is what's important. If I want this building to be inside the courtyard, this project base point needs to be right there on the corner. You guys with me? Right there on the corner. I'm, I'm not paying attention to the elevation because both of them are at zero, zero. If I had a sight difference, then I could uh, say negative 10 feet, negative 20 feet, up 20, 30 feet, whatever, if I had a sight difference. But uh, for this example, everything's on the same playing field. But work with me here. I've put my project base point in this little square building, the annex to the L building, at that corner. And all I have to do is hit save. Save it on my desktop. Um, little um, square building. <laughs> for lack of a better name. Okay, you guys with me? Bam, I just put it in there. Wait for it. It's saving. Give these things a chance to save. Okay, ready and done. Okay, it's saved. Now I'm gonna close it, watch this. Close, file, close, close. <laughs> now I'm back in the L building. Now here's where the fun comes in. I wanna link them in together. This is why we started this whole um, this whole Revit tip. If you need to coordinate two projects, watch this. I'm going to go to Insert, link in a Revit file, and I'm going to pick on the little square building. And one of the options is Origin to Origin. That's not going to help us. Internal Origin, the center to center, that's not going to help us. Uh, by shared coordinates, mm, no, 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 no can do because we didn't share coordinates. Remember, we're walking away from that. What's that one? <gasps> project base point to project base point. Oh, no way. No way. I didn't know that was there. You click on that. Okay. And then you hit open. And I want you to see, observe with your eyes and see where that thing comes in, friends. Wait for it. It's linking in. It's linking. Oh, would you look at that? It came into the right place. And if, if I go to 3D, would you look at that? It's in the exact right place where it's supposed to be. It, it's pretty amazing, isn't it? Now, if I need to change it, oh dear, this is important. I actually, let's say I wanted this. Let me just zoom in. I wanted this corner to be up there. Oh, I need that corner to be up there because I wanted to preserve this whole courtyard as a big open square. Mm, okay. All right. Easy peasy. So don't get all out of control, friends, because look at this. You can pick that link and you can delete the link and remove the link out. It's no big deal to get rid of it. Because, look at this, I file, I can go open, I'm just going to do it, open the little square building, open it, wait for it, it's opening, opening, come on, <laughs> this is when you wish you had 5,000 CPUs on your computer, okay, a cray, but no, we all have our own limitations. Okay, the little square building is opening. Do I have time to tell a joke? Hmm. No, wait, it's up and running. And so we're gonna go to the floor plan. Now look how easy it is, guys. Look how easy it is to move the project face point. You highlight it. You just move it to where you want it. Okay, and then you hit save. I saved it. You see that saving? And then I can file close it. <laughs> because here in this L building, if I say link in Revit, and I say I would like the little square building, I say open. Which one did I, did I use shared coordinates? Did I, I think I used project base point to project base point. Yes, I did. It was the last thing that I had used, it remembered. But you got to check that stuff. Now take a look, guys. Do you see how quick and easy that was to coordinate this? I'm just saying that you can use 
that project base point in your projects to link them together. And even if you're using Revit Lite or the full blown version of Revit, to me, in my humble opinion, it is easier, easier to use the project base point than shared coordinates. For most projects, that's going to be perfectly fine. I understand if you have multiple copies of an object in there, you wouldn't be able to have separate locations for them all, but maybe you would. I need to look into that. But for most projects, most every project you're going to come across, you can use the project base point perfectly fine to link in other files. All right. I hope that works for you. And I hope that that gives you another way of doing things. And I hope that's even simpler than the whole business of shared coordinates, especially for 95% of your projects or more. Could be all. All right. Until next time, happy reveting and have a great day. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.